This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Oscar Fish Penrod. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. All right, guys, last episode, I gave you guys a challenge for 300 likes to unlock the next FTR episode for the next week. And to my surprise, we reached 400 likes before even one day. What? That's amazing. We're setting a new bar, new standard now. We're going for 500 likes and that'll unlock the next week's FTR episode. Chris, why are you doing this? Why are you fishing for likes like that? Reason number one, to see the likes gives me motivation and lets me know that y'all like my videos. Reason number two, I'm trying to grow our community, man. We got to get those likes to get this video recommended to people. We got to get on trending. Let's go. Make sure you follow up on Instagram, The Planted Lens. I'm going to be posting some sick pictures of Rapashi. All right, let's get All right. <laughs> Starting in hot. That's one of them bio orbs. That's not making me like bio orbs any more than I already do. Sorry, Oase. I'm amazed at how healthy they look. I'm pretty amazed too, but either they just got put in there or they're not really showing their stress levels. That's why ammonia poisoning is so dangerous because you never really know if they're getting poisoned by ammonia until it's too late. And not only is there one giant goldfish in that little bio orb, there's two. And the cherry on top, that fake little plant in the bottom. I love it. Five out of five. Wait, for real? Five, five out of five? Yeah, why not? Just, just end me right now. I don't care anymore. Ah, here's a tank. This tank is sent in by Chris Hurst all the way from Australia. Big fan from Australia. That's pretty awesome. I have Aussies as fans. Good eye, mate. Very understocked. I like the gravel. Not my first go-to color of gravel, but it does kind of look natural and it's unanimous. It's a pretty clean look. You know, if you're gonna select a color like that, you're gonna have to own it, and this guy owns it. Unapologetic about that decision. He's got a powerful centerpiece wood, and it's pretty well planted. It could be a little more uh, dense. Stocking is very low, very enjoyable tank. Those powerful lights up top and the clean tank itself. You made some really good choices, dude. 4.5 out of 5. Good job. Sing it from the mountaintop, sis where most people keep their bettas versus how you should keep your betta at the very bare minimum. Yeah, pretty much. Good job. Great for Garami, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> Something's wrong with this world when I'm impressed that it says 1.6 gallons. You don't, you don't see that every day anymore. Something that big being sold by Equion or Top Fin. Great for small tropical fish. They're moving the bar lower and lower, so now 1.6 gallon is normal for guppies and garamis, while 0.25 gallons are normal for bettas. Da, 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 da. It's a water gun. I'm just thirsty. And it comes with a filter, which is better than nothing. It comes with three little LED lights, pretty standard. But no, don't let any of this fool you. Don't get this tank. And if you get this tank, I don't know, put some shrimp in it maybe? Grow some planaria? <laughs> don't put a freaking fish in it. It's 1.6 gallons, guys. Next tank, sent in by Jack Heathcote. I particularly really enjoy this scape because it seems quite simple and easy and attainable for pretty much anyone, but it is so well thought out in that way where it's simple and attainable, but pretty next level here. The placement of the hardscape, the rocks, seems pretty expert level. Um, they're into the substrate just right. The valis is doing that thing where it curves up and covers the top of the tank a little bit. I would say the stocking is pretty balanced. This is a very nice tank and it's, it catches you off guard. You might be thinking, wow, this, this looks especially nice, but I'm not really sure why. Well, it's deceptively simple. 4.7 out of 5, good job. Tried to educate him many times, but he clearly doesn't care about the fish or its happiness. First of all, that fish doesn't look happy, for sure. So let's see what this guy has to say. To everyone who told me the fish wouldn't last because I wasn't spending my whole savings to give him a wonderful life, you don't have to even come close to using up your whole life savings to make a good enough fish tank for a beta, okay? Unless, you know, maybe you're not like working yet, maybe you're still depending on allowance if you have allowance, and that I'm a terrible pet owner for not doing so. Happily had him for over a year now. Do I have to, do I have to explain how wrong he is about this assessment of his fish? No. The answer is I don't have to explain it. 
Y'all are smart people. Oh, I scrolled down and saw a comment. On a side note, this same person took a wild bunny from outside and put a Doritos bag in the cage as a hide. So, can you imagine how ratchet that looks? Just takes a wild bunny, chucks it in a cage, and then puts like a Dorito bag that he just finished eating <laughs> into the cage. <laughs> that looks so ratchet, oh gosh. Raquel Navarro sent in this wonderful fish tank. Here, Oof. what am I looking at here? The hardscape is something to fall in love with. Super clean, oh you got the attachments on there too, and you got some floaters up top, and it's all planted and nice, and there's an open area, and these are home to two puffers. Very nice choices made here. I love the clean look of the tank, I love the light, and I love where you put it. There's like a little old-fashioned teapot over there, there's like a little plant, and the back of the wall is like this rustic look. Five out of five, my dude. Wow, that whole setup, what a steal. Better with setup only $10.99, wow. That's worth like negative $10.99 maybe. I'm sorry, but if you buy that for $10.99, you're an idiot. Poor Betta's at Loco PetSmart. Rest of animals well taken care of. Shame fish often are neglected. Betta Lounge. Yeah, when I used to work at PetSmart, um, this, never seen this before. Just because you make the display look prettier doesn't change the fact that they're in way too small of a container. I think the PetSmart I worked at actually had bigger containers than that. And by the way, if you guys are interested or want to see a video of me covering the truth about PetSmart, that's a pretty clickbaity title right there, make sure to hit me up in the comment sections telling me you want to see that because I don't work for them anymore. I can be very honest and you guys know that I'm pretty much like honesty right here <laughs> what this whole series is made out of so found on instagram doesn't say what kind of fish that lives in it well you know why it's not a fish it's an elephant there's no room to even swim it really even isn't i really appreciate the scape and the aesthetics but you might as well could have just put a mono shrimp maybe some cherry shrimp to brighten it up with some reds. Not a betta. It's not even a female betta. It's a it's a full size male betta. This tank sent in by Will Schaefer. Blackwater biotope done very right. There's branches everywhere, wood, leaves floating on top and on the bottom. The colors just right. And my favorite part of this, besides it being understocked, is that there's green leaves and shoots coming out from the debris that is more brown and this is very natural and this is what you would find in nature maybe not the java fern or the species of the plants but there's there'll be some green coming out of the you know fallen foliage it might be a bit of a pain to um, maintain every week but kudos to you dude 4.8 out of 5 keep it up this aquarium i found in a pharmacy if that's the first thing I saw when I entered a pharmacy, I'm heading right out. Something tells me Mary won't be at work for very long. Mary likes her new home here at work. Man, how dare you. How dare you put a fish called Mary, which is the namesake of Jesus' mom, into something like that. Take them out. Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. Zane sent in this 12-gallon plant tank with six neon tetras. Very good start, Zane. I see that you have a lot of plant species in there, trying out a lot of new things, and your Ludwigia is growing real fast and through the water, up, immersed. I got a few tips for you. Maybe your substrate can be a little thicker so that the roots, especially with that little Amazon sword that's gonna grow taller and bigger, maybe help that, help the root system expand a little more if you add more substrate and then also add in some more hardscape, whether that be wood or rocks, that might make it look even better and fuller. But really good job, really good start. Four out of five, keep it up. This Amazon review of a 6.8 liter tank. Oh dude, this is the real review. I got nothing on this fish tank review. Dimitrita has given it five, count them, five stars. Verified purchase, love the style. Really love the tank, super easy to assemble, <laughs> whatever that means. It's not like some Gundam Lego thing. And very stylish look, <laughs> I guess. 
<laughs> if that's what you're looking for, my fish is Sam's happy. Seven people found this helpful. Well, okay, maybe they found it helpful so that they can avoid getting this thing altogether. It would be pretty aesthetically pleasing if you aquascape that full green, some anubia, some colors and textures, and then a little bit of shrimp in there, maybe a few snails. Leave it at that. Guys, thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. Again, to help grow our community here, like this video, make sure you leave a comment below. It might get featured in the next FDR anyway. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. There'll be more videos to come. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to get your hands wet.